Hello and welcome to a look at the weather for the week ahead. It's been a cool and unsettled start to June and there's no sign of any real warmth in the next seven to ten days. It will remain unsettled certainly through the weekend and of course that's because low pressures moved in which gave a good dose of rain through Thursday night into Friday. Most of the rain now is in the form of showers and that will continue as I say through the weekend. The reason that it's so unsettled at the moment is because our jet stream is sat to the south of the UK and that jet stream tends to steer low pressures in off the Atlantic. So it has steered in low pressure through Thursday to Friday and that same area of low pressure is parked over the UK throughout the weekend. Now with it, some fairly unusually windy weather in the south, so not great news if you're under canvas, and some more showers to come here as well. And those showers move through quite quickly in the south given the strength of the wind, but they'll still be heavy, hail and thunder, and any sunshine and brightness first thing tends to fill in with cloud. Could even be a little bit of mist first thing, a cooler start to the day. And later on we get some more rain pushing into the north, but heavy, slow-moving showers near the centre of that low pressure, making it feel cooler still, particularly with the gusty winds. Through the night, we'll find more rain pushing its way southwards across Scotland and the potential for some really persistent rain sinking south into Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, Northern England for Sunday. Either side of it, it's sunny spells and scattered showers. Again, perhaps fewer showers in the south compared with Saturday. But again, the devil's in the detail. There will still be some heavy, slow moving showers around as there will further north. But with a little bit more brightness and strong June sunshine around, temperatures might be a little bit higher on Sunday. But that same area of low pressure sticks with us through Sunday and into Monday. There's the chance that we'll see an arm of rain, low pressure approaching southern parts of the UK. So we'll need to keep an eye on that one. The devil, as I say, is in the detail at the moment with showers. But given the time of year that the sun is strong, they will likely be heavy, some of them slow moving where the winds are light and with hail and thunder. Temperatures just a little bit higher as you can see on Monday because we're just expecting the winds to fall lighter, a little bit more sunshine around. There's that weather front still close to southern areas which could spoil the sunshine here but bring something a little bit warmer into the south but that cold air is not too far away from northern Scotland and actually on Tuesday we do have a little bit of a northern drift here potentially with some showers and perhaps a few showers elsewhere. But on balance, it looks like we'll start to see some drier weather building for a time. And, and that means the temperatures will be a little higher. You can see that 17 to 20. So feeling more pleasant in that stronger sunshine. And Wednesday brings with it the, a chance of a ridge of high pressure. Yes, the weather fronts are close to the north. But for many of us at the moment, it's looking like a drier day, Tuesday into Wednesday. Still temperatures not really rocketing much at 15 to 19. But given some sunshine, it'll feel pleasant enough. Then later next week, We've still got the jet stream close by, as you can see, to the north, becoming cut off to the south. And that's why we're watching that area of low pressure, potential developments from the south and indeed from the north and the west. But it's slightly weaker jet stream as we go into next week, just indicative of this ridge of high pressure trying to push into some southern areas. But the low pressure towards the north still trying to bring its influence in across Scotland, Northern Ireland, perhaps Northern England, which means it's hanging in the balance and there's a lot of uncertainty later next week. Still looks fairly unsettled, not particularly warm but as ever you can stay up to date on the website.